Hello, everybody. Hi. Hello, Miss Janae. Hi, kids. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is, do you remember Isabella? Oh, I don't remember her, but I love the, the uh, markings on her face. She's pretty. She was being so calm before, but it's like as soon as class started, she wants to wriggle everywhere. But yeah, it's a color that Isabella is. What was that? I said, she's a class clown, Isabella is. Right, right, right. She she came to us actually, um, she was eating across the street at a neighbor's house. For months and months, I saw her. She would come to our house sometimes and eat our cat food. And out of nowhere on my birthday last year, she came to our front yard with all her kittens. And I was like, what in the world? And she hasn't really left since. Sometimes she goes back across the street, but for the most part, she's moved in. <laughs> yeah, so we let her in the house because she's um she's very sweet. She stays out of everyone's way. She's not mean. She doesn't fight the other cats. So she's mostly a good girl. How many kittens did she show up on your doorstep with on your birthday as a birthday gift? <laughs> right. Um, probably, I would say, I don't know how many were hers. At least two. At least two. Oh, wow. One of them died or disappeared unfortunately the other one is still out front but he is feral you can't touch him he i named him theodore um but he can't get near <laughs> i would love to show him the class because he looks like a mouse he has this funny face he looks like a mouse um but yeah can't touch him but she's friendly she's a friendly girl mm. mm -hmm. okay so um i guess we should open up in prayer and get today's class started yes uh, i will open up Okay. And this is our candle that we always have that shows God's presence. And oh, I think, oh no, I think my battery is out on the candle. Because okay, we'll get a new one for next week. Yeah. Okay. Symbolically, I'm lighting the candle uh, to show the start of church school. Okay. So now let's close our eyes and bow our heads. Dear God, uh, thank you for the time we get to spend together. Uh, I am excited for what is to come. At the end of August, we do so much. It's a busy time because school is starting and I'm really happy for all the kids who are going back to school in person and getting to see their friends again. I'm very excited for them to have that experience. And also we are going to go back to church again. Uh, for now, just probably temporary as we figure everything out, but it's great that everyone can meet in person at least occasionally and see each other's face. It means a lot. Uh, so let's have a wonderful time in church school today and learn something new. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yes. Okay. So we have the letter to Ephesians, the last one. Uh, we're reading these letters because those letters are so powerful. They pack a punch. They say so many beautiful things. And again, they were written 2,000 years ago, and they are as relevant today uh, and to Christians and followers of Jesus as they were back, back then. Um, they have such an inspiring, loving message. And in this particular letter, Paul or somebody who people think is not Paul, like maybe one of Paul's followers, they are saying that God's love is like an armor. They give the image of a Roman soldier with a helmet and a shield and uh, like a breastplate armor. And they say that is what going into battle for truth and justice is like. You have to cover yourself in God's love and keep it like an armor. Why? Because people don't want you to walk in love. People don't necessarily want you to fight for justice. There's all, all kinds of people who make a lot of money or get a lot of power from inflicting pain and injustice in the world in different ways. So they will try to stop you from living in God's way. But God's love is like an armor that protects you. I, I'd like to add to, to that, Ms. Janae, and I'd like to say that oftentimes, if we do not um, have a good connection at that moment or that particular day with God, 
Um, we could also uh, be victim to negativity our, of our own making. You know, maybe we're feeling angry or tired or hungry and we forget um, about living in the way that, you know, we want to based on Jesus's teaching of love. And we can, you know, just slide into nasty behaviors. So mm -hmm. thinking of God's love as an armor, thinking of it as, you know, uh, have, being present with that, um, you know, energy all the time and that mission in our own lives uh, can help us to not slide into negative behaviors. And that's just normal. We're human. We're going to slide into those behaviors. But if we can keep that, you know, God's armor, you know, that idea of, of living the way God wants us to live, the, uh, living the example of Jesus, um, we can pick, up our, pick ourselves up quickly mm -hmm. or we can keep ourselves from sliding into that negativity as well. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. So let's read the last letter of the Ephesians and... Yeah, let's, let's receive some inspiration from it. Um, can you start? Sure. And so this, again, is a letter to the early church, early Christians, Ephesians 6. It's based on the book of Ephesians in the Bible, uh, Ephesians 6, uh, verses 10 through 20. And it says, Dear friends and followers of Christ, finally stand firm and be strong in God's power. Some people that you meet won't want to live in God's way. They will try to make things difficult for you. So put on God's love like an armor to protect you and help you do Jesus's work in the world. Dress yourself in truth and justice. Cover yourself in faith. God's love will be like a shield to protect you from the hurtful things that people do. God's power will be like a helmet. Walk in God's spirit so that you will be ready to tell others about God or about God's way of peace. Use the power of God's spirit when you pray. Never stop praying, especially for others. Always be ready to spread God's love by what you do and say. And may God's peace and grace be with you. And together we say, praise, praise God. God. Amen. Amen. Nice. I love this little um, other little uh, mm -hmm. verse or so whatever this is. God's power is. It says higher than the tallest mountain deeper than the deepest sea, mm -hmm. bigger than the biggest cave, mm -hmm. brighter than a starry night, mm -hmm. stronger than a solid rock, mm -hmm. and wider than outer space. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> That's beautiful. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, so um, in the Ephesians, uh, toward the end, they were also talking about prayer. Prayer is so important and prayer carries real power because when we pray, we are like intentionally putting ourselves in the presence of God. We are saying, God, be with me, listen to me. I am saying something, I need you to help me or to help someone that I'm praying for. So with that in mind, we have prayer cards. This is something in class, you would put your name on it, but online is different. So you take a small piece of paper or card and like Barbara and I did, you write, pray also for me. And on the other side, you put someone's name that you would like to pray for. Someone close to you, someone that's important in your life. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so we wrote each other's names and these cards serve as a reminder to pray for someone because even when we're not around someone, they're not in our lives every day, they still matter. We still care about them and they might need prayer when we don't even know it. They might be going through something, something's happening and it's good to just keep them in mind and say a prayer for them always. You just never know. 
Uh, that's what the Ephesians letter says. Always pray for other people. Don't stop praying. And I, I am very thankful for this because one of my family members is having a serious health issue. So I, I'm going to keep praying for him and tell my family, I'm telling my family to do the same. And you just keep faith. You keep faith that God is listening. Okay. I think we have a lot to pray for this week, Ms. Janae. This uh, coming week, uh, the, it, this upcoming week, kids are starting back at school. Mm -hmm. yep. And so, you know, we pray, you know, we, we pray not only that, you know, we get to off to a good start for school, but that people can stay safe from COVID and other communicable disease, diseases. And um, also that... Uh, that we have a great school year. Yes, yes. Uh, and as I was saying earlier, I'm happy the kids can finally go back and see each other. I know how important that is to see your friends and your teachers up close. It, it makes school much more interesting. It makes it more fun. Uh, so I really hope everyone has a good time and they stay healthy uh, and do really good in school. Yes. One other thing that I want to lift up in prayer is the fact that we have an in-person worship at the St. Regis on September 5th. And we would love to see all of you there. And of course, we're going to follow all the protocols to keep everybody safe, uh, you know, during that in-person worship. But, you know, again, at the St. Regis, September 5th, and we'd love to see everybody there. Yes, I hope so. I really hope so. Uh, Miss uh, Joanne and Valerie bring the best crafts. <laughs> they, 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 they really get it. How do I say? I don't want to say hook us up, but they make it so fun. So please come because we have really fun classes that we've been planning. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I think we have just about run out of time. So um, do we want to bring back our special guest and close out in prayer? I think I have someone here. Hold on. Okay. Well, someone just crawled under my uh, my bed. Let's see who else I can <laughs> grab from here. Let's see who Miss Janae can bring up, and if it's the same guest, or if we're going to have a new one. Um, because if I'm not mistaken, Ms. Janae has two dogs. She's got Doriega, the cat with the uh, little fur coming out of its ears. She has, um, let's see, she has that white cat. I think she named that one Princess. You guys probably know better than I do, all these different uh, animals. Um, she's got the cat that she brought on today. Um, you know, I can't remember them all, but now when she gets back, we will make okay. sure to ask her. I did try. Were you trying to name my cats? <laughs> all the cats. There's so many of them. I, just, I, I forget. Miss Janae, I was going over with the kids how many pets you bring on to the show or on to the to church school and you have two dogs and how many cats? Uh, let's see. We have three doggies. We okay. have one died. Um, cats, we have probably at this point inside five, outside about 10. Oh boy. Yeah, it's a full house. And we didn't plan it. We did, this just, just happened. I tried luring Isabella with some catnip toy, but she did, she wasn't falling for it. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Get a mouse. Next time. Okay next time. Let's go ahead and bow our heads and close out church school for today. Dear God, as always, thanks for bringing us together again on Zoom to hear your message. We've got a big week, week coming up. We have school starting and we are praying for a smooth start to the school year. We're praying that you keep us safe from COVID and anything else this year. And we also pray that we have a successful year. Uh, let us pray for all those people that are struggling with COVID and um, all the other things that are going on in the world. There seems, there seems to be a lot happening right now. And we are praying for anyone who is sick and struggling. Um, 
and we're praying to be able to meet and see each other and enjoy each other's company on September 5th at the St. Regis. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. Thank you. And next week is uh, Children's Chapel, and then we meet in person. Okay. Very good. Bye, Miss Janae. Bye. Take care.